A former VP at Facebook said he felt tremendous guilt because the short-term, dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. Psychology Today says the average high school kid has the same level of anxiety as the average psychiatric patient in the early 1950s, and that's directly related to social media. Increasingly, studies are linking phones to not just anxiety, but depression, bullying, hate speech, fake news, sleep disturbance, relationship problems, and photographs of knees on the beach. <laughs> turn people into assholes. Shady, needy, passive-aggressive, mean, and fake. Fake outraged, fake brave, fake pretty, fake supportive. Phones make people fake their lives instead of living their lives. It's more important to get a picture of you looking like you're having a good time than actually having a good time. <laughs> and the pathetic addiction to likes, did I like my picture of lunch? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't good enough. Does that mean I'm not good enough? <laughs> Phones have ruined self-esteem, comedy clubs, concerts, <laughs> childhood, attention span, sleep cycles, using toilet time to reflect, <laughs> and falling off cliffs. <laughs> Oh, and dating, which has been reduced from a quest for true love to looking at a menu. Huh. I think I'll have the Kelly tonight. <laughs> Phones make people bullies, angrier, more vitriolic, more racist online than they would ever dream of being if they had to say those things to someone's face. The phone made us passive-aggressive to our friends and hyper-aggressive to total strangers. It has two settings. I'll kill you or you're dead to me. <laughs> we don't engage with our friends when we disagree. We just walk away. Don't like something, delete it. Don't want to talk to someone, don't reply. Just ghost them. Ghosting. It's the electronic equivalent of going out for a pack of smokes and never coming back. 